guys and howdy Friday. Today I want to talk about fabric storage. Fabric, fabric, fabric is everywhere. I tuned in on some really, really good things on Pinterest talking about how to store your fabric. If you're like me, you've got a lot of fabric, way too much fabric, fabric everywhere. I once emptied someone's craft room of their fabric years of fabric so much fabric and i love it because for me because i'm a peacenik because i like pieces of things and i use the fabric to create pictures applique sort of my version of applique uh, things like this see it's so pretty it's got a little heart it's, it's got uh, the name of the very special child that I've made this for. And I've used tiny little bits of fabric. You can see it. And I love doing it. And I, I hand stitch it because it's just gorgeous. I made a purse for my friend. I did a lion's face. It's really, really cool. I love piecing things together. I guess because of that whole quilters thing that I grew up under. But... I collect little tiny scraps of fabric. Sometimes I have big ones, sometimes I have little ones. I'm always digging around in the scrap bins at uh, craft stores and Walmart, anywhere that, where they cut fabric up. After that, I can stack it like this inside of shelves and you can easily see what you're looking for. For me, the best method is rolling. I lay the fabric out kind of fold it into a long strip and then I roll it. I also have little bits of fabric and like I showed you even littler bits of fabric. If I can use it, I keep it. Look, this is a very small piece of fabric, but for me fabric is sort of like paints to a painter. I use little bits depending on the color and the visual texture to create an overall feeling in the finished product. So I'm gonna be working on separating these. I'm thinking about using bins, sort of like these. I picked these up at a junk store. Yeah, something like this. Um, you can find things in dollar stores, uh, Target, junk stores. The links that I'm gonna put, these gals had some really good ideas using folders and um, file cabinets and ugh, it was crazy but they're really good ideas if you have larger bits of fabric these are for these and sorting them into colors sorting them into floral stripes whatever it is that turns you on and the most important thing is that they're easy to get to i'm kind of a control freak but it's not so much i just like to have things where i can get to them i have lots of vintage fabrics if you read my blog, you see that I looted a linen closet of some uh, antique linens not long ago. Anything is game, as long as it's not, you know, precious or heirloom to you personally. But if it's someone else's and they've discarded it, cut away, baby. Cut away. So, with that word, cutting away, I will cut away now. I hope you have a great weekend. Get those pits and pieces together. Put together something beautiful. And, uh... Don't forget to look for me on Instagram, Connie Soso, C-O-N-N-I-E dot S-E-W dot S-E-W. I'll be posting uh, pictures of my latest works. Finish this gal. She's going. And I'll be starting on finally crochet unicorns. Okay, so until next time, happy piecing. Bye.